Hi, I am Jackie with Jackie Loves Healthy Living, and this is Try It Out Tuesday, where I try out different non-toxic products, whether they are in the beauty industry or cleaning your home, and give you my honest opinion. As always, you'll see a little, a little bit of my dogs here or there because it, it wouldn't be Jackie Loves Healthy Living without them. So, what is our topic of today? Today's topic is MIG's Facial Lotion Bar. Now, let me go ahead and share a little bit of background about myself. So I have had been on this non-toxic journey for a while. I am a cancer survivor. I have Lyme disease, endometriosis, and recently was diagnosed with SIRS, which means my body cannot break down toxins on its own. So we've had to do a lot of ditch and switch over the years um, to get my body healthy. Now, one of the big culprits of endocrine disruptors, you know, all that bad junk, is the cosmetic industry. So I had to totally change out what I was using in the bathroom um, on my face and um, for, for switch it out for cleaner products. But not all clean products work. Not all of them are truly effective. And I'm not gonna try to sell you on something I don't believe in myself, okay? So if I don't absolutely love it, you, I won't be talking about it. Or I might even share with you why I don't like it. Um, so I wanna preface it by saying that I do not stand behind every single product just because it's a company I represent. I'm gonna give you a complete honest review. Okay, so with that in mind, um, I have very combination skin. So in the summers, it's T-zone oil, like, oil city, like Texas rig oil, okay? <laughs> but then in the winter, it's like dry and scaly. So the other, in the winter, I like this will peel. So I get this peeling thing going on with my eyebrows and then this like scaliness going on through here. But then the T-zone is like, it's, it's like healthy in the winter, not overproducing oil, not under, like it's, it's on point, but then the rest is like alligator scaly. So it's like, well, what the heck do I use for my face? Because is it is it oily? Is it crazy dry? It's both. So that makes it really difficult to find skincare that you love. Um, but until MIG. So I use our charcoal bar. Um, so that is for oily skin and for um, blemish prone skin. So I still even use that in the winter. It's not too harsh for me. Um, but I do have to double up on my lotion. So when I get out of the shower, I barely dampen my face and then I apply this right after. It is super simple. All you're gonna do is just apply it all over, okay, all over. <laughs> And first off, see that amazing gold color? That is um, beeswax, raw, unfiltered beeswax from Colorado Farms that provides such healing for blemish-prone skin. Um, it will give you radiant, youthful skin. Now, if my skin, I'm not in the shower and I have just washed it um, from the sink, then I'm going to get it wet by spraying a toner on it or by using an essence water. Because the way that our lotion bars work is there's no water in here whatsoever. Water will actually, if there's water in your lotion, it has to have an equalizer so that water won't grow mold. So, and usually those equalizers are not good for us. So we've removed the water, so that way you don't even have to worry about it. Um, but what you do need to do is get your face a little wet, so that way it will lock in that moisture. So if you put on that toner, then it will lock in that toner wonderfully. And you, as you can see, I do not, I put this on this morning. Um, it's been about five hours now. And there's no scaly skin whatsoever. And normally my lips would be peeling. I mean, I like turn into like an alligator half on half of my face. I mean, as you can see, no alligator skin. So definitely two thumbs up for this one. It smells great. It has a very, very light scent. You can barely smell it. If you've been around here for a while, you know I don't do scents. Scents give me migraines. So if it does have a scent, it's gotta be something that is completely a natural scent that's not gonna give me a migraine. And this one does not. I also love that. Every purchase um, fuels efforts to end child trafficking, says it right there on the label that they are handcrafted in small batches. So these are made with purely earth ingredients, nothing kooky, nothing you can't read or pronounce, small batches truly from seed to skin. This is like farmer's market quality um, with Forbes um, type of success. 
and that's really true. Jamie was in Forbes um, during when COVID hit, like its peak, the worst, um, when businesses were all shutting down and um, our business was exploding. So yeah, she really was in Forbes. Um, but the integrity of it is like a farmer's market, like not natural ingredients, small batches, uh, where we know we know the beekeepers by name, the doctors who formulated these by name. It's a pretty amazing company. So if you're wanting to save ten dollars off your first order and twenty percent off, I can hook you up. Use my link, and I really wish you had smell a vision because this stuff is the bomb. Um, also, there are other bars of soap that you want to tag with that. So charcoal is if you have very oily or blemish prone. The man soap is if you need charcoal, but you also need a little bit of moisture, some nurture in there because men shave. So if you are a combo skin, um, I use my husband's at time too. So you, you could go for the man soap. Um, bloom is if you are um, neither dry nor oily. You're just kind of right there. It's good for all skin types. And the lavender is what you want to do if you are super, super dry. Um, so lavender oat is the best one for that. All right, let me know what questions, comments, concerns you've got. As always, I'm here to help. Have a great one.